this is the scope okay scope image name hey i already tell you already one curly bracket and another curly bracket represent one scope okay so you need to indent it like this indent it like this okay if there is one scope inside then you indent it law if there's another scope right this there's another scope in the inner scope in here right then you in, indent it like this this is how to do a proper indentation ah yeah indentation way got hard do it if one scope indent it if one scope indent it if another scope indent it ah yeah way got hard okay this this diagram is very really useful uh. i wish i know this diagram earlier so i can show it to you this diagram is very very good this is what a scoping look like so before i start right if you haven't seen object oriented programming before it's something look like this i let you see first the code yesterday i already sent the code in the group right if you have seen it very good okay i give you cut clap okay but if you haven't seen it okay let's quickly go through how long is this code uh. this command uh, you can ignore the command uh. i just add this command so we got this thing we got this thing we got this thing and then we got this thing and then we got this thing and we got this thing we got this thing this 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 uh this uh clone again uh to string validate pressure uh validate rim okay how many lines about 200 lines okay today we are going to talk about object oriented programming first thing you need to know how to code an object oriented class is first thing i need you to understand first why do we need a class for example right if you need a class to hold a few type of data right example string you want to mix with double right or you want to store a few specific data then it's most likely you need a class to do it okay this is a good example like in semester two right you would do a linked list okay a linked list would utilize a class right now we don't have a good example why you need to use a class but next semester you would see this class would come in handy okay so at first right we got a will will is our class name okay the same as our java the class name has to be same as the file name and the w have to be capital letter our class need to be capital letter so our file also need to be the first one capital letter okay so there are a few components in our object oriented format okay okay from now on right from now on uh, i will call oo as object oriented oo uh, i will say oo if i say oo you need to know already i'm referring to object oriented okay so we are we got five category okay there are five category you need to remember not hard not hard okay stay chill stay chill lower down your pressure lower down your stress okay lower down you got a constructor you got a constructor a constructor is what a constructor is to initialize the class if you want mm -hmm. to initialize a class right then you use a constructor later i show you the example you will know better first so you keep in your head first constructor okay remember constructor okay after you memorize this let's go to the next one the second one is assessor method okay assessor method right assessor is also known as getter okay if you are not familiar with assessor you can remember this by getter get get getter okay when you see assessor right you automatic know already assessor means get assess ma assess if you want to assess something right you use get why do we need an assessor i tell you the reason why because right in here we got a private our class field is private okay this private right then other class right uh, if example right another class called as class eric or another class eric cannot access this type of thing one okay because it's set as private you need to set it as private okay that's why we need an assessor the assessor the task is going to help you to access type of i know for you right for you you are familiar as variable okay but in class right i'm going to refer it as class field from now on class field is a formal term class field okay from now on i will call this as class field if you see me say class field right you automatic know already if i say class field it means variable if i say class field it means variable if i say class field it means variable okay example right size okay example size for so example if i want to let another class to eat this value what can i do if i want to let other class eat this value right i cannot set it to public okay in your pdi right you cannot set it to public it's always private you need to use use an assessor this assessor method assessor right assessor the data type is always same to the private class field okay example our size is string right then you put on public string get size um this one i haven't changed right? this one i haven't changed for for my own node right for my own node is like this one for my own node this is the old node i got a new node my new node is arranged like this okay just like this then you don't you want okay this mutator this assessor so normally normally how i arrange thing is like this ah i write the mutator first i write the mutator first after i finish write the constructor right after i finish write this constructor constructor ah. after i finish write constructor then i write the mutator this example right um our size is string okay say if our size is b this is tire ah. this is tire ah. this 
this entire class is real okay this entire class is real say the size is b okay so if the size is b right what you want to do is if you want to let user get the size right so you can do something like this public string get size return size b okay so if people call the get size they will be able to access the private class field log okay let's go to mutator method what is called as mutator Wow, very fancy name or mutator. But actually what it means is setter, okay? Setter, okay? Our mutator means setter. If you want to set something right, then you call the mutator method. Also, if you want to perform validation, right? If you want to perform validation, um, or oh, I didn't write in here, oh. I didn't write in here. Actually, if you want to perform valid validation, right? You do it in a mutator method. Let's go to an example of mutator, okay? If you see mutator, right? It always contains the keyword set, okay? data container keyword set 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 okay let's call it size right if you want to set the size then if you want to let user change this value so what can you do is you go to set size okay you go and set size you create a this is called as a sub module uh, sub module or if you are more familiar with function this is called as so you write a sub module okay uh, you write a sub module public void set size what mean you don't return anything okay you put void okay. then this, this is the argument string inside this in size right this in size will set to size because everything everything in our class right we can access this type of private class field okay if we can access our private class field you want to let other class access it so we put a set size okay because we got one rule one rule is our size right cannot set it as public must set it as private no matter what condition you need to set it as private remember this okay the only place we can use public is the class constant don't get confused okay class constant the class constant class constant is always capital letter if we don't want to change the value right we add a final public static final if it's final right if it's then we know it's class constant automatically and it's very easy to spot because the class constant is always capital letter in this situation you can put it as public got one benefit okay got one benefit i tell you what is the benefit if you are using a IDE, right? IDE mean like what do you call IDE? Uh? IDE full name is what? Uh? Using Eclipse, the set size, uh, the set size for the right, will automatic suggest to you. If it automatic suggest to you, right, the auto completion will help you to save some effort. If not, right, you need to type the right this size is equal to size is string or uh, size is equal to b. You need to type it right this. Very mafan, uh, very mafan, okay, very mafan. If you, you already set the Mutator, right? If you already set a mutator, right? You type, you type get only. You type get, right? Then the, you see, you see, it will automatic suggest to you. Then you can type get size. And normally, right, your Eclipse will automatic put this bracket for you already. So it, it's more easier for you to type thing, okay? So you only need to type B. How about this B? Wow, finish already. So in comparison, in comparison with, in comparison with this one now, in comparison with this one, I prefer do it like this. Huh? I prefer to do it like this. Like this is more faster. Maybe I say like this, you don't understand now. Later, I'm going to show you one sample, okay? So as I mentioned, right, you put a mutator first. You put a mutator first. Only you put the getter. The getter is SS, okay? Sometimes I also can get confused between these two terms. Huh? At least memorize this assessor. If you want to access something, it means get law. If you want, it means get, okay? If you want to access something, it means get. So if you see an accessor method, it means get. Up until now, I never used this number 4. You can kinda ignore this one, okay? Up until now, I haven't used number 4, okay? Most most of the time, I use private method. So you need to, lastly, lastly, last, last component. Last component is private method. Example, if you want to process a sub module, right? If you want to call a sub module, you want it to be private. All you can do is, you write in the end of this class, okay? You write in the end of this class. I'll show you one example. In the end of this class, right? This is private. Um, in here we don't have an example. Uh, in here we don't have example. Example, our I give you example. Uh, private, private. Uh, insta, in calculate sum. Okay, calculate sum. So if you want to calculate sum, right? We don't want to let user go and assess your assess this class, right? You you don't want to let another class assess this one. You only want to use internally. Meaning, right? I only want only allow my view to assess this class. I don't want to let other class assess it. Example, another class called as house. H O U S E house, okay. If there's a house class, right? If there's a class name as house, ah, uh, house, yeah, yeah, okay. If there's a class called as house, want to access this one? You don't want to allow them to access, so we say it's private. If, if you say it's private, other class cannot access already, lo. so then we perform calculation. Lo. And also one thing, right? You can return like this integer a plus b. I think you also know this in C plus plus, right? If any one of you learned C plus plus before, la, you can direct write like this. You can direct write like return something the value. Okay. You don't need to go and declare in C is equal then C is equal to a plus b. 
Hey, yeah, what is this? I don't like this one. Uh. So you can let return. Uh. Return A plus B. So long we don't violate, we don't violate the rule. In PDI, right, we cannot put multiple return. You cannot run more than one return, okay? So long it's one return, then this one is okay, okay? Now I need to introduce to you one by one already. After you're familiar with this, right? After you're familiar with this, now I need to go into detail what is constructed. Hmm. You're, I already explained this one, right? If you are not clear, tell me, ah. Uh. If you are not clear, feel free to interrupt me. Feel free to interrupt me. So in Java, right? In Java, we have a default constructor. Default mean default, lah. Default. Yeah. A default constructor don't have any argument, okay? No argument, uh. No argument, okay? No argument. A default constructor have no argument. The default constructor, right? For the same same name, uh, Same name as the class name, uh, Same name, uh, Same name as the class name, okay? Because why do we need to do this? Why do we need to do this? Example, right? You want to do it like this. Will, will, example is equal to new will. Example, if you do like this, right? This in man, you put it in man, okay? Example, in split my dad, like, if in my split my dad, if I want to call this will class, right? I do it like this. I do it like this. Example, right? If I want to initiate, this call as instantiate, okay? Instantiate. This call as instantiate a class. If you instantiate a class, right? This call as an object, okay? This call as an object. An object, right? An object can hold the information of this one, this class. Okay, I go slower, I go slower. This example, right? If we write it right, this call as it, okay? We call this as instantiate. If you want to instantiate a class, you write form, you write in this form. And then, right? This will is the class. This will, the data type, like a scan, like an integer, just like a boolean, okay? This is called as the data type. The data type, right, is from the class name, yeah. If the class name is will, then the data type is will, okay. And then, right, this will, right, this will is the default constructor, okay. This default constructor is what we see in here, okay. The will got no argument, okay. And then, right, you write like this, well, okay. So this is the... This thing ah, uh, this thing ah, uh, this thing is the default constructor. Okay. So if you instantiate right, instantiate a class, then you're going to call this one uh, and call this one. Then you set the size law. Uh, size is equal to new string. You can write size is equal to blah blah blah. Okay. Then initialize the size as this one. Uh, and then a pressure right, a pressure is twenty nine kilopascal. Low twenty nine point zero. Okay. You don't care about the units. So a pressure is twenty nine. Then you will set to here uh, A pressure. Where is a pressure? Uh? A pressure is this one. Private class field, uh, private class field, okay? Then our rim type, uh, our rim type is, rim type is aluminium, okay? Manufacturer, manufacturer we set as null, okay? If you normally, uh, normally, normally in default constructor, right? You want to set all this class field, okay? You want to use every class field. You need to set every data inside. So example, here got four, four item, right? Here got four item. Then you need to set four item into here, uh, into the default, uh, into the default, okay? After that, we go to alternate constructor. So another one thing you need to understand, right? Java support overloading. Have you guys heard of overloading before? Anyone heard of overloading before? Overloading means right, you can use the same class name, okay? You can use the same class name, but inside here, right, got different arguments. So don't be surprised, oh, when you use a class, right? Sometimes people write like this, oh. Sometimes people write like this. Build, um, let's say call this as example two, okay? Example two, go to new build. What is the first data type, ah? String, string in size. Our in size is let's say our string is B. Okay, our string is B. And then our let's say yeah, uh, let's say our double pressure. Our pressure let's say um 35 kilopascal. Okay, 35 kilopascal. 35. And then our string in rim. Let's say this one we let's say steel. Okay, let's say steel. We call this a steel. And then another class is another argument. I mean another argument is in Mac. In Mac is menu manufacturer. Manufacturer is. Let's say Toyota, okay? Toyota. Example like this, right? So you don't feel strange, oh? Eh? Hey, how come this one is view? This one is view? Eh? Hey, how come this one got nothing? Eh? Hey, how come this got things one? This is called as overloading, okay? This is called as overloading. Java support overloading. You can put the same name, right? You can put the same name, but then you use different argument. You use different argument. This is to more easier for other developer to use your class, lah. More easier for other developer use your class. So example, right? If you want to overload, right? You put like this, lah. Your will, then you put your data type in here. This is called overloading, okay? Overloading. Then we got a copy constructor. And also, right, your will, right, if in an alternate constructor, right, most of the time you need to use your set, lah. Most of the time you need to set, use your set. Because we need to validate your data first. Example, we need to validate size is an empty string. So if the, say if you got a naughty user, ah, 
a naughty user put an empty string or you don't want to let him set this one or you don't want to let him set this one so you need to validate in your set size i see first if this one got example or no example yeah. a pressure okay a pressure got validation can you see this set a pressure you you need to validate you need to validate the data first this validate yeah. data right if the user go and enter example in the pressure right example in the pressure the the user is very naughty ah. he go and put negative or oh. he go and put negative pressure not logic ma then you don't want to validate this or you don't want to set it to your private class field okay so you want to throw a exception throw an exception invalid add pressure our copy constructor right will look something like this okay size is equal to in wheel okay in wheel in wheel is the another class ah. i show you one example ah. i show you one example this one copy constructor right this is alternate constructor okay this is called as alternate constructor alternate constructor this one is default constructor okay this one is default constructor and then Let's set our example 3. Example 3, right? Let's say I call this as con, okay? Let's call this as con, D-L-O-N. Con example, con example 2, okay? Con example 2. If I want to clone example 2, how do I clone this? I call this like this. I call this like this. Example 2, okay? The argument is like this. Data type is bin, okay? This, our, sorry, this one is copy, yeah? This one is copy constructor. This one is called, we pass it to our copy constructor. Our copy constructor, inside here, right? The data type is bin. So what this do is, can you see this example 2? Can you see this example two? Remember first, ah, huh? remember first. Example two got this data type, ah, huh? got this data type, got this data type, okay, got this data type, this this field data type. So if you pass to here, the argument is like this, okay, in here, in here. Look at this one. Look at this. Look at this, okay. Look at this. So if you pass view in view, right? This in view, in view, ah, uh, this in view, ah, uh, this in view will refer to example two, okay. This in view is example two. So this con method, right? So we call the example two. We can call this as Example 2, I, I write like this so you better understand it. Okay, like this. Actually, it's something like this. Example 2. What this in view mean is same as example 2. So we call example 2 dot get size. Okay? This get size is from which part? This get size is from example 2. Uh, example 2 itself. Uh, example 2 itself. Okay, I repeat again. Example 2 itself. This example 2, can you see or not? Example 2. Okay, that's why I write example 2 dot get size. Okay. Because we pass in in view. This in view is what? This in view is from here. Example 2. Okay. Example 2. I don't know you get it or not. You get it. Uh? You get it. You get me. You feel me. ASD. We, we call this from example 2. Uh, example. So if you write in view, right? The in view essentially means example 2. Uh. So we call example 2 the get size. Okay. We call example 2 the get size. We call example 2 apostrophe S or <laughs> example 2 get, get size. Okay. Example 2 the the get size okay we call example two the get size if we pass like this out if we pass like so we set it to this size so a pressure is the same no? same time is the same no? manufacturer is the same no? so if you have a copy constructor right if you have a copy constructor that's most likely you need this get law no? you need this get no? so meaning right meaning or if you write a standard class right because you have all private class field if you got four private class field you need to make for get ah, uh, for get ah. Uh. What is our get? Our get is accessor ah. Uh. Our get is accessor. Okay. So meaning right, if you got four four private class field right, you need to write four accessor. Okay. Because our four accessor will be used in here. Our four accessor will be used in here. Okay. Our four accessor will be used in our copy constructor. Can you see the importance of this already? After we finish this right, we finish already lo. So I go and write it back ah. Uh. This one is actually in this. I write example two is for you to understand. With that we have cover today this week i mean like this monday lecture class we have finished cover it already so if you don't understand this one right watch back the video replay it again pause it if you need it